fish and birds soaked in oil washing up on Southern California beaches. A ruptured pipeline spilling 126,000 gallons of oil into the ocean. Tonight, crews from our area are racing to avoid an ecological disaster. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live with the veterinarians from UC Davis. Laura, on the front lines of this fight. That's right. We know UC Davis is home to medical professionals across several fields, and that includes veterinary medicine. And it's that team that right now is down in Southern California working this wildlife rescue mission, trying to get these animals to safety. An oil spill disaster off the shores of California's most popular beaches is putting wildlife in danger. <laughs> News of the pipeline rupture in Southern California made its way north to the UC Davis campus, activating veterinary first responders with the Oiled Wildlife Care Network. So we deployed team members, so we had people flying down, we had people driving. We want to send people down as soon as possible. The network is working quickly to save wildlife, but the clock is ticking. Dr. Michael Zaccardi is the network's director. Unfortunately, the brown pelican had chronic injuries that required us to humanely euthanize it yesterday. This bird, called a sanderling, lives along Huntington Beach and nearly died after it was found covered in oil Monday, saved by UC Davis vet Dr. Dwayne Tom. We have a team of people who are perfectly equipped, have been training for this moment. As oil continues to wash ashore, injured animals are being cared for inside these mobile units driven from UC Davis to Southern California. Providing, you know, medical care, like immediate support, making sure that their vitals are good. Una Preston tells CBS 13 the network is prepared to stay in Southern California until wildlife rescue is complete. They are all very drained, physically, mentally drained, and it's also an emotional process. You know, they, they don't want to see animals in distress. The network is made up of both staff members and trained volunteers. Again, they are prepared to stay in Southern California for as long as this wildlife rescue mission takes. And they say that process may take weeks.